they sat us alphabetically back then, and being Zollicoffer, I either sat at the very first seat on the front row, or most of the time I sat on the last seat in the back row. Uh, that had advantages and disadvantages. Uh, one of the advantages I had that you never knew how much subject matter they were going to cover during a particular class. It may be four or five cases, or it may be eight or ten, depending on how fast they went through them. And occasionally you get caught where you had not read but four or five cases, and all of a sudden you realize they're going to get on case number eight. The joke in my class used to be that if a professor got away from his roll book, the only names he could remember were Guadalbaum and Zollicoffer. And so it was Mr. Zollicoffer and Mr. Guadalbaum. And we probably recited easily one third of the time between the two of us in our entire class. And so knowing that I was probably going to be called on if I hadn't prepared for enough cases, I tended to start looking out of the wonder, but paying very close attention to what was going on and kind of lowering my head a little bit so that the professor would not think I was paying attention. And so he had me in his trap, and so he would say, what do you think of that, Mr. Zollicoffer? And I would hopefully get through with reciting a case that I knew, and he would move on to someone else, hopefully doing the other cases that I didn't know what was it all about. Mm -hmm.